On Monday, September 16th, the Trump family stunned everyone when they announced their own token. That's right. World Liberty Financial. Let's dive into this thing. Welcome back, everyone. You knew that I couldn't stay away from this. I had to talk about the uh, the Trump token. Um, but before we start getting into it, it was really interesting to see on X, formerly known as Twitter, that there were some Bitcoin influencers that were calling Trump out as a shitcoiner uh, based on his uh, based on the announcement of his shitcoin. Um, and I think that that's kind of funny because it's not surprising. Like, this shouldn't be any news. Since 2022, Trump has done four separate NFT collections. So this idea that all of a sudden he's a shitcoiner, no, that he is a businessman. He's a businessman and he is taking advantage of an opportunity. And I'm not saying this to justify his behavior. I'm just trying to explain where I believe he's coming from. And us in our echo chamber you know, we think that Bitcoin is the center of the world. And, and for shitcoiners, the center of the world is their, their shitcoin and the community and whatever other narratives that they have. But the reality is, is that Trump, Trump is a businessman. He sees this as essentially some market that he can tap. That's, that's pretty much it. Anyways, what is World Liberty Financial? WLFI tokens are pure governance tokens, only providing the right to make proposals and vote on matters related to the platform. Okay, so I mean, this is really nothing new. We've heard of governance tokens before, um, but what does this token actually do? Well, according to their prepared statements, WLFI tokens would be non-transferable and would not grant any economic benefits such as dividends to holders. We only want eligible people who actually plan to engage in the direction of World Liberty Financial Governance to purchase the token. What? So this is interesting. So it's a non-transferable token except for you, the buyer. They can transfer it to you and they can take your money. But then the token is non-transferable. And then you don't get any economic benefits for holding it. So... Why would you hold it? All right, let's take a look at the distribution. The sale will distribute nearly 63% of WLFI's supply to accredited investors in the US. 17% is reserved for user rewards and 20% is earmarked for Liberty Financial's team and advisors. The sale would be restricted to accredited investors due to regulatory considerations. And this is kind of interesting. Um, because there's a follow-up statement to this, which kind of backtracks on this regulatory consideration. And here it is. We don't consider WLFI to be a security. In light of regulatory uncertainty surrounding tokens and token sales in the United States, we've decided it's prudent to limit the token sales to certain persons who would be eligible to participate in transactions that are exempt from registration under the U.S. federal securities law. Eric Trump said World Liberty Financial aims to make DeFi easier for regular people to use, despite those same users being unable to participate in the token sale. What? So they want people to purchase the token that will fall outside of regulation, most likely so that when this thing completely falls apart, uh, the Trumps aren't held liable. That's most likely the, the case for that. Um, but yet they want to make it more accessible to regular people. And this is why they've made it not accessible to regular people. You guys think I'm joking, but the source is in the show notes. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Now, although the previous statements that I read to you about WLFI made no sense, this is where the truth comes out, which I do appreciate. The project emphasized its commitments to promoting US-based stable coins, suggesting the platform will comprise a stable coin focused lending platform. So they know they know what's up, obviously they know what's up and the stable coins it's interesting. The, the government, the government seems to like these stable coins. And I, I've talked about this in the past and it, it's, 
all of these stable coins are pegged against the dollar. So if you think about it, this is a product of the US dollar. And I mean, any stable coin for any jurisdiction, it, it, it is a product of that jurisdiction and it helps essentially, um, how could I say this? It helps that jurisdiction give the rest of the world access to its currency by way of its stable coin that's pegged. And of course, it's no surprise or secret. We know that Donald Trump is a US dollar maxi. So in his eyes, hey, look, I'm helping, I'm helping the US dollar buy my shit coin. Is this a good idea that Trump is doing this essentially two months before the election? And the other thing is, um, why is he, you know, why is he doing this right now? Uh, so let's go with the first one, right? Um, is this a good idea that he's doing it prior to his campaign? Um, so look, it depends on, it depends on which way you're looking at this. You know, if you're a person who, uh, votes Democrat, then, uh, you possibly think that this is a great idea because you know that this is probably a terrible idea. Uh, and it just doesn't seem very professional. Okay. For, you know, for a uh, presidential candidate to be shilling a, uh, a shit coin. Um, now the, the other, the other angle of this is, is that it, you know, uh, any kind of media coverage, right? Any news is good news. So essentially, or I should say any kind of, any kind of media coverage is good coverage. Um, so there's that aspect of it where, you know, I mean, he's getting a lot of eyeballs. There was over 680,000 people in that space on Monday night uh, on Twitter spaces, X spaces, uh, that was listening to, uh, to his son and, um, the, uh, the host and they, and they were talking about this. So, you know, there was a whole lot of attention about it. People are talking about it. And in that respect, it could be seen as a good thing. Either way, um, I, you know, we're going to find out. We're we're ultimately going to find out, I believe, you know, whether this this hurts or helps him uh, in his presidential aspirations. Uh, but going back to the the second question, right, which is why? What are the what are the motivations? Because I, I don't believe that he is, ha you know, creating this token. Or I don't believe his son is creating this token in order to help his presidential aspirations. That's just my personal opinion. So what would be, you know, what could be the reasons, right? Um is him promoting this project his way of supporting Don Jr. and Eric in their aspirations? Quite possibly. Um, some other people even alluded to that he's actually doing this because uh, out of fear that China is somehow going to create some type of a product or become a leader in this space first. Uh, and he specifically says, you know, if we don't do it, China is going to do it. Throughout my life, Donald Trump has always been a businessman and an opportunist. And when he sees an opportunity that he can easily capitalize on, he does. So I don't really think that this is anything other than a business opportunity on his end. I, I don't believe that he's doing this uh, for his campaign necessarily. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure that he's necessarily doing this for his kids, and I'm not 100% sure that he's doing this project to, to fight China. But but the thing that I have the most confidence in saying is that he's a businessman and he's taking advantage of an opportunity. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I will catch you next week.